I'm sure you've heard of Tesla's dry electrode batteries and how they were meant to reduce the cost of the 4680 battery cell significantly. But the thing is, guys, I mean, we've only heard stuff from Elon Musk. We only heard stuff from Tesla. We don't actually know the truth behind what's going on with 4680 battery cells. And that's why I think it's really interesting that LG Chem have come out and said, you know what? We're going to be manufacturing these dry basically these dry electrode battery cells and this is the actual price reduction it's going to make it's actually a lot bigger than what i expected now i expected the cost reduction to be about 10 percent it's much much bigger than that hello my friends welcome to the channel i'm sam evans you're watching the electric viking great to have you with us and tesla's 4680 battery cells they're much maligned they've been criticized they've been dragged through the mud uh, Tesla has been kind of ridiculed for them. To be fair, the battery industry, I mean, it kind of appears to have moved on. Look, we've got CATLs, Shenzhen battery, the highest energy, energy density lithium ion phosphate batteries in the world. We've got these new Chilin 2.0 batteries um, from CATL as well. We're talking fast charging of 600 kilowatt with these new batteries. Obviously, then you've got companies, you've got companies like Geely with their new Aegis short blade battery. They can also charge at more than 600 kilowatt fast charging, 6C they call it, charge a battery pack in a Zika vehicle in 10.5 minutes from 20 to 80%, 10.5 minutes, that's the real world here. So has the battery industry moved on? Has Tesla been left behind with 4680 cells? Well, oh, the energy density of the 4680 cell is actually quite high. A lot of people say it's not, but actually it is. South Korean energy battery company lg energy solutions or lg chem to be honest guys lg chem are more of a petrochemical company than anything else that's the that's the um, largest part of their business i don't know why people don't recognize this as like basically buying batteries from shell or um, exxon mobil but anyway lg chem yes they do make batteries they say that their unique dry electro process could reduce manufacturing costs by 20 to 30 percent if it was the upside of this if it was the higher side of this or 30 percent well, obviously, that would make a massive difference. And you got to remember that Tesla, they're manufacturing these, these batteries, obviously, in a very similar way. I believe that uh, Tesla did do this as a kind of a collaboration with LG Energy. So probably LG Energy make, making the batteries in a very, very similar way to Tesla. LG ES, though, said that they have developed a unique dry electrode process that they claim will actually trump Tesla. On August the 20th, 2024, LG Energy Solutions announced it was on track to complete its pilot line for its advanced dry electrode batteries. The new pilot line will be installed at LG Chem's Oshang Energy Plant and will reach full-scale production a very long time from now, three years. Yeah, in fact, three and a half years, 2028. So you would hope that these batteries would have possibly some use of silicon in them to increase the energy density by 2028 otherwise i don't know how they're going to compete i mean that's too far away that's too long they're taking too long evs are obviously using all different kinds of battery chem battery chemistry and a lot of people think that lithium ion phosphate is the future of batteries of car batteries i think it's probably more likely mass manufacturing of sodium ion batteries in about 10 to 15 years from now uh, a lot of people believe that the advancements that we're going to see from artificial intelligence artificial intelligence itself is predicting this actually that sodium ion batteries will eventually replace lithium batteries but not for everything just for mainstream evs we will have solid state batteries in supercars those kinds of things and you know there may be a, a place for lithium as well you know standard lithium ion phosphate batteries when i say standard i mean you know there's a range of different types now with very very high energy density look at the shensing battery 205 watts per kilogram of energy density for an lfp battery that can charge at 560 kilowatt that's uh that's amazing and if that improves by 10 or 20 percent then that's what lg and tesla have to compete with and by 2028, well, that's a long time away. Tesla claim, or it appears as though Tesla have solved this dry electrode process today, as in, in 2024, not in four years, or in fact, four and a half years into the future. Now, the Korea Herald says the drying process takes up a huge amount of space and energy, and it often calls for ovens that reach temperatures exceeding 200 degrees Celsius. A few companies have developed their own dry process, says Teslarati, including Tesla. Last month, Tesla's senior manufacturing engineer for 4680 cell development, 
called Cole Otto shared a photo of a Cybertruck with Tesla's in-house dry cathode 4680 batteries. Otto said that Tesla's dry cathode 4680 batteries were a significant milestone in advancing both technology and cost efficiency. So Tesla essentially has four and a half years to improve its 4680 battery process, which I'm sure it will be, in order to make sure that they're ahead of LG Chem. So maybe LG Chem's claims that they're they're doing it the best, they're number one. I don't know if I think they sound a bit ridiculous considering that their batteries won't be mass manufactured. Mass manufactured is what counts until 2028. LG's dry electro process will probably bring about battery advancements though for LG Chem when it comes to lithium ternary batteries, not LFP, but you know, nickel, cobalt, manganese battery packs and cost def- well, cost advancements or cost improvements over LG Chem's batteries. But keep in mind, LG Chem, this is a company that's struggling. They used to be the biggest battery company in the world. Only a couple of years ago, they were bigger than CATL. Now they've been overtaken by not only CATL, but also BYD. They'll probably soon be overtaken by maybe even CALB. CALB, they're one of the fastest growing battery companies in the world. They actually sell batteries even cheaper than CATL. They had the highest energy density LFP battery last year. Obviously that's been superseded by CATL and potentially I believe it's been superseded as well by the short blade battery from Geely. But as you can see, this is a very competitive market and the Chinese manufacturers, the Chinese battery manufacturers, they are moving faster than what Tesla is, than what LG Chem is. So it's gonna be an interesting situation here to see what, what Tesla does. How can they improve the 4680 battery cell aside from improving manufacturing processes? Because they really do need to improve the energy density. Can they use silicon? That's probably likely. Could they also use potentially a manganese, like a basically a hybrid lithium ion phosphate manganese battery, the LM3 battery or the LMP battery. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rumors around that battery. I think there's also a name called MP3. Anyway, there's different rumors around that battery that Tesla apparently been working on for more than five years. That could even supersede the 4680 cell. Who knows? Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.